All right, so for this exercise, you're gonna need your floor plan or your bubble diagram and your little sketched out floor plan. So you should have dimensions on how big each room is gonna be. Um, I like to start with a just a blank piece of bond paper, eight and a half by 11 as a background. Um, I do need the tracing paper. So I'll cut some sheets on that. You will need your uh, pencil of some sort scale, eraser, erasing shield, drafting tape, and your 30, 60, 90 triangle, and your 45 triangle. I have tape on all three corners on both sides, so I don't smudge any of my line work. I don't smear anything. This helps create a small gap in between the triangle and your paper. And so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to remove all this stuff off my working area. I'll leave that there. And I'm going to decide where I want to put this um, so I can get to work. And I think this is a good spot. It's right in the middle. I'm not hitting the edge. Uh, the very end with my straight bar and I'm just going to pull this back up against this straight bar to zero out this paper and why am I going to zero this out is because I want my perpendicular I want perpendicular lines so I want this straight edge to be parallel to this edge and I want my triangles which are right triangles to be able to create perpendicular lines that are parallel to this edge. And so when taping this down, you have to make sure that this tape is not only secure, but relatively flat. And so use your fingernail if you feel any bubbles or anything to kind of take that, take them bubbles out. You don't want any type of, um, things that lift up because the straight edge will peel it right off and tear your drawing. And so you don't want that. And so when you tape down your draw your drawings or you know in this case a background, you want to ensure that stuff like I just peeled off right here. Uh, I just used my nail to scratch that right off and because that was a little crease. And there, you don't want the creases in it. This should be able to guide, to, to, to glide up and down freely. Um, you should always clean off your whiteboard every time before you actually start. If you have any eraser shavings um, or excess uh, lead on there, it's going to, uh, create problems for you. Any eraser shavings underneath and you go to slide this up and down or you go to draw a straight line, it's gonna create a bump in that straight line if there's an eraser shaving underneath. So make sure you have a clean surface. All right, so now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and get some tracing paper and I'm gonna measure this out to the size that I need. That's perfect. I'm going to use my scale to tear this off. Remember to push down hard on your scale and tear smoothly. All right, I only need one sheet for now, so I'm just going to cut one sheet and tape this back up. Always use tape. Uh, I find that if you use rubber bands, this starts to fray and get nice and ugly, um, but tape works relatively well. All right. So now I gotta tape this down. And I'll go ahead and pause right now.